Hey, and you thought they were small, huh? When I showed you from the top. Look at these things. They're huge. Look at this. Look at this thing. They're massive. They're like the size of an elephant or more. This one's probably, what? Almost a two-story building. <laughs> this is cool. Still in Utah. So right now I'm standing in the Valley of the Goblins. So all this carved out by water. Uh, this is some place I wanted to come. Uh, actually John, John told me about this place. He's like, yeah, you can go to Moab, but he goes, you can also go to Valley of the Goblins. And he is, uh, he was dead on on this one. So um, like I said, I'm still in Utah. I'm probably gonna have to make a beeline back to uh, um, back to uh, Healdsburg. So I was just back there. I could see a whole nother valley going that way. But when I turn the corner around another set, it just keeps on going in there. I'm gonna try to hold this a little bit. The GoPro does much better at that, but we're out of battery today. So gotta remind gotta remember to charge your toys. Actually. I might do that. I got my battery pack in the backpack, so. I also got the drone. I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna fly it or not. We'll see what happens. I think this actually might not be a bad place to do it. Let's see if we can walk the rim here a little bit to see how far it kind of goes in. This might be the end of this canyon right here. At least this is in the shade a little bit. The valley down there is not. Well, no, it looks like it keeps going. Just kind of cut through and turn the corner down there. Well, I'm not going to go that far, but I think uh, we will uh, 
probably start turning around and heading back towards uh, heading back towards the the beast and uh, but uh, I thought this might be a good spot to at least uh, stand and show you the height of some of these guys they're pretty good down there and my creep on that way but I'm gonna stop the ridge walking and head back like uh, almost out there, I thought I heard somebody's voice, but it might be mine echoing. But then I saw what almost appeared to be a man standing right there, but it's actually a hole in the cave. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> but yeah, I thought I looked over and said, oh, I think I see some people over there. But no, <laughs> must be a bird's nest or something. But I think we're gonna turn around and start heading back. So that is the ridge path that we took just right there, going along the edge there. And there's some boulders up there that look like they could come down, but just seeing all the different layers of, of rock and dirt and sand and deposits, and then all the way down to basically where I'm standing here, which is not even in the full valley, because I'm still working my way. The valley is actually over this way. So if I keep going through here, across a few little washes and everything, I'm actually getting down into the floor of the valley here. Or I guess what you call in this portion of the valley here. But as you can see, these guys are just up there. And so there's where we kind of were hanging out, build that rim over there a little bit. Taking out that shot right there. There's more pinnacles. Now I know why, you know, if I was a film crew and I said, hey, I wanted to shoot a uh, uh, an alien film, <laughs> I'd try to talk them into letting me doing it here. So hey, this is the this is Mark. This is another adventure. I think we're gonna start heading back towards oh, my bad. Heading back towards uh, the the building that we showed you in some of the other shots where we started our, this trek. Uh, I think we're about eight miles in, so we got a little bit of humping to do to get back, but I, think, I don't think Fitbit's right. It's probably more like four. Um, but the valley kind of keeps going on. You can see it kind of turns a corner back there. So every time I turn a corner, there's another valley. Well, I turned a corner, there's another valley. So uh, just gonna work our way back, um, heading back towards that way. Uh, I don't think we'll get lost, we'll just keep following the footprints. But basically, uh, you, you keep going, you turn a corner and you might see the uh, the uh, welcome center and the hot dog guy up there. Got a vegan hot dog this morning for breakfast, so that was pretty good. So, I will talk to you guys later.
For the sound of the big old beast because i'm running that air conditioner because it's it's about 95 here it was 100 over there at the other place so we need a little acon at this point so to get where we're at uh i think oh this is mini wild horse canyon let's see uh you can start seeing the the goblins starting to form on these rocks right here that's kind of how they've been more smooth Basically right over there you got the creek bed runs through here. And so I guess all this was washed at one time or maybe it just washes away again. I'm not sure how far down the road you can go there. Actually you can probably go pretty far because I think this was 5 miles and I think it said the other was 14 miles. So I could break out the bike and run that a little bit down that way. Uh, but uh, I think we we'll, might just stop here. These are the kind of campsites that exist up here. And the good thing about this one, you get a group of people. You're in good shape. You're just not here, you know, just chilling by yourself. But it's kind of like that guy on uh, YouTube, but he says, Born to Mob. I mean, this is not too far out, but you there's some things that you probably need a truck with to get to. Um, the old van probably ain't gonna make this until we get some modifications done. I'm sure gotta be able to lift it up. Some of these ruts out here are pretty deep. Probably we just knock the generator right off that sucker. Oh. But you know you can't can't uh, can't overstate how much uh, great land is out here to camp, and you could have your run of the place right here. As you see, somebody had this spot at one time. And it looks like there's another person way back over in the distance. I'm not going to go that way and bug them, but I'm sure you came out this far, so nobody would mess with you, right? So, well, another great day in the USA.